Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe so you can see any new content I upload, especially since we're in quarantine. I've got tons of time on my hands to upload for y'all. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up because I actually showered for you guys for this video um, on camera, but don't worry, all the angles cover it all, so don't be fooled. This is not an X-rated video. <laughs> Since I'm not really like in Emerson, if you guys hear this little fluff ball, this is Emerson. She's adorable. Look how funny and cute. So I'm not really in my apartment. I'm not really living my life right now. I'm kind of just like bouncing around from my mom's to my dad's and kind of like just take it as it goes sort of thing. So one of the things I figured I could share with you guys was my shower routine and how I make it sustainable. She's on the table. <laughs> Should I get her off? Emerson, come here. Yeah, so with that being said, actually, let me go grab everything. I'm back. Anywho. <laughs> yeah, so we're all still showering in quarantine, right? Right? I would hope so. I have a specific way or a specific product that I use when I shower to make it sustainable. Let me just call this like my zero plastic shower routine because everything I use is cardboard or packetry or like my razor is steel, I think. First things first, I get in the shower and I wash my face first and then I wash my hair kind of at the same time. So while my hair is getting wet in the back, I am using one of these bars. So this is from Junk Elephant, which is kind of a splurge, but when it comes to skincare, I really don't mind. I'm actually really trying to fix my skin right now especially being in quarantine and kind of like giving myself time to like recover, recuperate and find out what really works for me without being worried about being judged <laughs> by people like at work or in public. So this is the Peaky Bar that I use. It's the white one. This is the exfoliating one, the Juju Bar, which is a physical exfoliant, which I didn't, I mean, it's pretty on the scale of like one to St. Ives apricot scrub. I'd say it's like a three. Like you can feel the minerals, but it's not tearing your skin apart. I use the Peaky Bar as a two in one. So I take my makeup off with it as well as wash my face with it. And some people have like a two step nighttime cleanser. I don't, this takes everything off. And like I said, plastic free, it comes in cardboard. Um, I think if you pick it up in Sephora, it doesn't have like the little plastic wrap around it. If you buy it online, which I did with this one, it did have that, but the product itself is like plastic free. So that's the first thing I go ahead and do. From Lush, I have this shampoo bar. Now you can get these practically anywhere. I just really happen to like Lush because it's kind of what I've ever used first. And they range from like, I wanna say like nine to $10, all the way up to like $15 a bar. But these last me for months. I can't even remember last time I bought one. It might have been like end of January, sometime in February is the last time I bought it. And like, it's pretty thin now. So like it is at risk of like cracking, um, which if you use these or anything like it, do you guys have a way where you can like melt it back together all the pieces? Cause what I find that happens when it gets to like super thin, like even thinner than this, is when I start to use it, it like cracks and like I just have pieces of it rather than like a full bar. Yeah, this lasts me a really long time. So my method of using this rather than just like go ahead and like rub it on my scalp because I feel like that will damage your hair is I go ahead and rub my um, hands together with it and lather it up and then go ahead. But if I need some like extra, you know, oil fighting, I'll like go ahead and rub it in the specific spots. Oh, I forgot to mention after I rinse my hair from the shampoo and my face wash, whatever, I turn the water off. So that is another big thing for water saving because I find if I'm putting conditioner in my hair, I don't want the water running on me because I want that to sit. So I'll turn the water off and I'll go ahead and like get my products all lathered up and then go ahead and like apply them, whatever, so they don't rinse off because defeats the purpose. And also from Lush, this is their conditioner bar so this is like a nice pink one this is more moisturizing i used to use sugar o daddy i don't know what this one's called but it's more moisturizing because at first i was gonna change and like get like a full hair mask oh shit i can't remember her name oh my god we're like we know each other anyway at last she recommended like don't do a whole hair mask just change your conditioner i was like 
you have a point. <laughs> so I went ahead and picked this up and I like it a lot. So I try and keep this concentrated below my ears. Um, and then if I feel like I have bits of like flyaways or, you know, like it, up front, it's a bit more blonde. And so it like gets a bit more damage. Then I'll go ahead and like go over that. But I don't rub this into my scalp or my head simply because I don't want oily hair seeing as I don't wash my hair that often. So like I'll shower and not wash my hair and just like do a body shower, but that's not my full routine. So yeah, you guys are getting my full routine. Then after that, I'll go ahead and take any bar of soap. I'm not particular. I find my body like my skin, my body skin isn't sensitive or very irritated. So I can kind of get away with using anything. I really like from Trader Joe's, they have an oat and lavender soap that like kind of exfoliates, kind of moisturizes. I really like that one, but I've just been using like whatever. But if you go to Trader Joe's and you get those paper wrapped bars of soap, those are great. Save the planet, zero plastic. Um, but yeah, and I don't use a loofah and I don't use a washcloth. Um, I could, but I just prefer to just like lather like on my skin. It just feels nicer and it doesn't feel like rough. And you know, I think my skin is clean <laughs> without it. So I'm doing good. With the soap, I don't use shaving cream because shaving cream is absolute bullshit. Shaving cream is marketed as something that you absolutely need every time you're gonna shave so you don't nick and cut yourself and you say so you don't have dry skin. It's a fake product, like you really don't need it. So I just lather up with soap and then go ahead and shave. But I also use an albatross razor. So this basically is a safety razor. You can kind of get them anywhere, I think. And they sell blades at like CVS and Walgreens or like any drugstore. Um, but yeah, the way this works is you just go ahead and unscrew it. I'll show you guys real quick. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I figure why not if you're going to buy one and you're going to be new to a safety razor. So the top comes off. Then you have your blade and then you also have the bottom part, which also comes off. So if you ever like need to clean it, because like sometimes I do get soap build up here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but like soap will build up. So like it's nice to clean. Um, and then you have your handle. So I will say <laughs> TSA stopped me on the way over. They were like, ma'am, took out my razor and like the guy <laughs> was trying to just like pull off the top. I was so afraid he was going to like pull and like slice his fingers. I was like, wait please don't, don't do that. Just unscrew it. And then they were like, do you have any more of these? We got to take them. I'm like, no, it's really just the one. So I did have to buy like a whole pack when I got here, but they're pretty cheap. They're like $5 for a 10 pack. But the reason I like all the trusts is because they give you the razors. I give you like a pack of 10 and they also take them back to recycle. So you don't just throw the blade away. You keep it and you can like send it back and they'll recycle or repurpose it somehow. So really big shout out to them and also the thing about safety razors is like they leave my skin so smooth i love it there's just so many like benefits to having a safety razor you don't have to keep repurchasing like a plastic handle and the plastic cartridges and all that i could go on and on about a safety razor like i should just do a whole video of like why i should get a safety razor but it's pretty great stuff i highly recommend it and if you're like afraid of it I suggest doing like your leg, like the from your knee to your ankle, that part of your leg, just the front part, because it seems to be like the flattest and the smoothest and like go ahead and just do that first, but be very careful around any like curvy parts of your body. Like the bend in your knee, for example, is a place that I tend to nick if I'm not being very careful. So just, you know, if it's your first time, take it slow, take it easy. Don't rush. So I go ahead and rinse and I'm all clean, squeak clean. But yeah, so I really recommend anything from Lush and I will show you guys my little travel case. So this is like what it comes, or like you can purchase one of these, which I recommend if you're gonna travel or even keeping it in your bathtub is gonna be a lot easier with one of these just because it like is a dish meant to hold it. So I think that runs about like 12 to $15. And I also have like a square shape too, so. I just really stand Lush because of their unpackaged products and like, they're great. They're really, really great <laughs> for like transforming your whole like bathroom routine or like anything like that. Thank y'all for watching. If you have any shower recommendations for something you do that's like energy efficient, whether it's like 
you got a different type of shower head or you also only use the water when you absolutely need it or maybe you keep your water at a cooler temperature. So that is how I shower sustainably with zero plastic um, and that's the way I like it. Go ahead, give this video a big thumbs up for sustainability and you know, this time of transformation. Let's go ahead and like put this time into our lifestyles and be very conscious about what we're doing to the earth, maybe. It's just a suggestion, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. In the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye guys. Old school style thumbnail. I like it.